hi hope you're having an amazing day as you saw from the title of this video today we're going to be doing a full face of makeup that i've forgotten about or makeup that i don't reach for in my makeup collection so basically what this is is i filmed a kind of shot my stash portion for this video so you guys are going to see this right after my intro and it's just me going into my collection choosing products that i haven't reached for in a long time products that i forgot about products that i think i don't like whatever it is just to retry them and kind of remind myself of the products that i have in my collection that i don't reach for often but that may actually be a hidden gem in my collection after all and that's actually what we did today it was a lot of fun i'm not going to tell you guys the products right now because obviously you guys are going to see me choosing them out in a little bit but before that don't forget if you like drugstore makeup go ahead and stick around subscribe maybe hit the bell so you're notified whenever i upload and if you collect the video if you like it and we'll get right into this video now so here are all my brow products so for today's video i think i'm gonna reach for something that i haven't touched at all on camera i have used it on instagram and it's this eye method liner here and it's like a one of those liners that look like you got microbladed brows so i'm gonna use this to like outline I think I'm going to reach for this Second Look Cosmetics Espresso Brown Eyebrow Gel. I haven't really touched it since that other video that I did, so I'm going to be using this. And as for brow gel, one that I never reach for is my Remy Rose. So I'm going to use this one. This one is tinted, which is why I've kind of strayed away from it, but we'll use it today. So let's see. I've really been using this one a lot, which is a Beauty Creations Face Primer. But one that I never ever reach for is the Primer Spray from the Chamasse site. So we're gonna use this today. And I think I'm gonna pair it with a different primer. I think we'll use the A Plus No Pore Face Primer. I haven't used this one in a while. So we're gonna pair it with the other one. Okay, so here are my concealers. Of course, I'm gonna reach for this. I always use this under everything. I'm just trying to use this up. It's my LA Colors Color Corrector in Peach. And I've really been using these two, so I'm gonna get away from those. I haven't used that since my last new makeup video. Um, but one that I've been thinking about using um, as of lately is the Away Studio Liquid Concealer. I haven't used this one in a while, so we'll try this one again. Okay, so here are all my foundations. I do have a e.l.f. foundation palette. I actually haven't used this on camera with you guys, so it's new. This one either. This is the CoverGirl one, so I'm not going to touch that one either. Really been into these two here, the L'Oreal and the LA Colors. So I've really been wanting to retry this one, the Pro Wear from the Chamasse site. So this is the one we're going to use today. Okay, so here are all of my contour palettes. One of these is cream, one of these is regular. So a contour that I haven't used in a while is definitely this one here, which is from the Dollar Tree. So we're going to use this today. And then I need like one of these, either this one, this one, or um, this one, or the e.l.f to set my under eyes so one that i haven't really touched is the elf one so i'll use this one you can see i haven't touched it in a while so we'll use this one to set the under eyes okay so here are all my blushes so i don't know what kind of look we're gonna go for so it's gonna be a little difficult but one that i haven't reached for in a while and this is a muse blush from a long time ago one that i received in a chamisse kit so we're gonna use this one and it is like a beautiful rose kind of blush perfect for any type of look so this is perfect and it goes really well with any look we do okay so here are all my highlighters so a palette that i haven't reached for for highlighters i do want to use a palette because those are the ones that i reach for at least this one's new so i'm going to use that in a video soon but one that i never reach for is this wet and wild one here that is how that palette looks it's really beautiful i just never reach for it and i recently saw it at burlington again so we're gonna try this out on the face and see if it's worth it it's nice i just kind of forget about it here are my powders so one that i haven't used on camera for a while is my smoke and mirror setting powder i have talked about this i believe i have two of them so i think this is the one that's already open and this is a new one it's just a backup so we are going to use this one today smoke and mirrors they have so many great items so we're going to try this out this is such a fine powder on the face it just goes on so beautifully so this is the one we're using today okay so here are my sponges i haven't had a chance to clean all of them don't judge um so i have my uh Chamasse ones here with the silicone i have my base blue cosmetics ones my elf one I have a lot of them. This is one that was my favorite. Yes, it's disgusting. I need to wash it. 
Um, one that I haven't used in a while that was such a huge favor for me was this one and this is the Real Techniques Diamond Sponge. So I'm going to wash it and this is actually the one we're going to use today. So here are my liquid shadows. I don't know if I want to use one of these or a glitter. Um, for now, I'm going to take this one and this is, well no, I use this all the time actually. One that I never ever touch is my e.l.f. one. So we'll use this one. I keep forgetting it's full face of nothing new. So we'll use the e.l.f. liquid shadow and this one here is in Flirty Birdie. This is so random, but I do have my lip balms out here because I am getting ready to do a makeup inventory. So I am counting all my makeup and we are going to use a lip balm before our eyeshadow goes on. One that I haven't touched at all is the Beauty Treats Lush Lip Oil. This is just a clear one and we're going to try this out and just put it on during the eyeshadow portion of the video. Just to get used out of it, I haven't really touched it since I got it, so we're going to use this one. Okay, so if you guys watched my palette collection video, you guys already saw all of my palette collection. I already know what palette I want to use. This is one that I received for a gift a long time ago for Christmas from my sister, Samantha. And this is a Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the first one. And you guys know the color story, so we're going to use this today. And we're going to see if we like it, if we don't, what the formula is like. I honestly don't remember. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. So these are my setting sprays. I can already see one that I haven't touched in a long time. And I'll choose one of my Beauty Treats Rose Water Facial Sprays. And I think I'll do the Cucumber one. So we're going to use this one today. So as you guys know, I've gotten a lot of new mascaras. I've been using these a lot. I actually just reviewed them in a 10 second review video. This one's my favorite. This one's not yet open. Um, so I'm going to reach for the BR Full Effect Mascara. I haven't really used it in a while. I believe I've used it in a video before, so we'll use this one today. Okay, so these are my liquid liners. You guys have seen a lot of these already. I just reviewed these. I love my Artista liner, so we're not touching those. So I think we're going to use the I Method liners. I actually did a video on these on Instagram. I actually used this liner for one of my Monato makeup -y voiceovers, but I didn't really like talk in that video. You guys know how that is. So I'm going to use my Eye Method Beauty Liner. It comes with a stamp on one side and a liner on the other. So we're going to use these two. One is for the right and one is for the left eye. So we're going to use these today. Okay, so my pencil liners are here. So I, I use this all the time. Um, I have my LA Colors one. You guys know how I feel about those. Those are really good. I have this Ebon one. We're not going to do purple today. So I'm going to use the Ulta Beauty Dual Eyeliner because I always reach for my Muse one. But I never reach for this one. So this is the one we're using today. Okay, so these are all my liquid lipsticks. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to choose this one because I haven't used it um, in a while. So this is a Romantic Beauty liquid lipstick. I actually use this one in a Not So Makeup-y voiceover as well. So I think it's going to work out really well. So we're going to use this one. Okay, so here are all of my lip glosses. So for sure, I already know which one I'm going to use today. I think I'm going to use this one here and it has like a purple kind of shift. I think it's going to look beautiful. This is just a Second Love Luminous Lip Gloss and it's in the shade Eclipse. So this one's going to be really nice and it's just really beautiful. So we're going to use this one today. Okay, we're going to use some cream products as well. I'm going to use the LA Colors Contour Stick. I'm not going to use this. It's just a little too bright for what we're going for. But this one I just used. So we're going to use the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Liquid Shadow. And this is in Goddess Glow. I never reached for this. So this is the one we're choosing today. So here are all of my lashes. Now some that I never reach for are these by Ebon New York. And these are their September lashes. So these are the ones we're going to apply today. As you guys saw from that little short clip of me picking out the makeup, the first item I'm going to go in with is the I Method Liquid Eyebrow Pen. As you can see how the applicator looks, it's like those pens that make your eyebrows look like they're microbladed. So I'm going to try to outline the brows with this product. I haven't used it in a while. I used it in an Instagram video a while back, a couple months back. And it was nice. Um, I don't really remember too much about it. So it says that it's waterproof for 24 hours. So that's really amazing. And I know like microbladed brows were like a big thing. I'm not sure if they still are. I don't know. I don't keep up with the trends, but let's see. It's a swatch of it first. So that's how that shade looks. It is like a brown. A little while you just have to go over it a couple times but we finally got the lines done 
The next product is from Second Love Cosmetics. As you guys know, I actually filmed a video using the products that they sent me. They were so kind to send me a bunch of their makeup products and we use them in a video and this is their Second Love Cosmetics Eyebrow Gel in Espresso Brown. And this is actually a product you can find at Five Below. I see them all the time. And the shade is not perfect for me, but I feel like we're gonna make it work. That's how that product looks. Haven't reached for it in such a long time. So we're gonna use it now and see how it goes. so those are the brows on i feel like the both products worked really well together and my brows don't look too brown or out of place or anything so yeah so far so good i'm just gonna clean my brows up using the aoa studio concealer that you guys saw i grabbed and i'm gonna use it to prime the lid as well spreading out that concealer oh i love using this concealer for an eyeshadow primer it just blends out so beautifully I love it. I love it. So good. I just haven't been reaching for it. So that's why I wanted to use it today. But it's a really good concealer. At first, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. If you guys watch my videos, you know. Um, but I don't know. I've learned to love it. The shade is a little light. But I do want to purchase another one because it's a really good formula. As you guys saw, we're using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collab palette this is their first one you guys know it like broke the internet it was so amazing everybody was obsessed with it i met with the second one which looks really beautiful one day i'll probably purchase it i don't know i'm not the biggest fan of this palette the formula i remember it not being that great not as great as people were like raving about or whatever um, I think this palette was okay. Also, the fact that it's really huge it just kind of deters me from using it. But we are using it today also because it's kind of hard to show you guys the palette. It's huge. Um, but we're going to use it today. We're going to create a nice look. I can't wait. And let's just get right into the eyeshadow portion. So you guys know what the palette looks like. There it is. And mine actually has... The shades on the back and the shade names my palette does have like little dots on it because i have used this for a palette bingo and because it's so huge i was gonna forget what shades i got whatever so i did mark it with a, one of my eyeliners and i just haven't i haven't cleaned it okay i forgot about that but these are the shades we're working with today i'm just gonna mix transition shades together and just start doing something because this is a reason I don't like these big palettes because I have no idea. There's just so many shades and it's just hard to choose. Whereas like the medium palettes is just like a certain amount of shades. It's not too many. It's not too overwhelming. So that's why I don't really reach for these big palettes. But I do appreciate their color story and they're nice to look at and have. But I just, just don't touch them unless it's like a palette bingo or something. But haven't done one of those in a while but i'm glad that we're doing this video and that we're revisiting this palette like people are still raving about this there's people that have in their collection they have a lot of pan and all the shades and stuff i bet this is a perfect palette for like people that work every day and they just need something to throw on and whatever or people that don't own a lot of palettes because this is just a one and done kind of palette you have all the shades you need if you don't you don't like to collect makeup like i do but those shades are building rather nicely. I think I'm going to stick with the more red tones. So I'm going to go into the dark red, like a burgundy, and, a, and the dark orange shade. I'm just going to mix those together and just throw them out here. Just start building up a crease shade. Take a little bit of those transition shades just to blend out the lines. I'm going to take that more orange shimmer shade, just throw it here because I am going to use the e.l.f. liquid shadow over this. So just have a base underneath. This shimmer is really soft. But it's not like falling apart, which I'm really enjoying. Now that those shades are on, I am going to just go back and blend the outer corner, kind of blend the edges before going in with that shimmer shade just so there's no harsh lines because once the shimmer shade is on if i blend it's going to go all over the face and it's just not going to be cute it's going to be a mess so i'm just going to do that now taking the elf liquid shadow in flirty birdie just taking some of the finger not too harsh 
and just throw it on the eye. We're gonna try out the eye method liners. One side is a stamp and the other is a marker for your eyes. So we're gonna do some wings using these. And what it's supposed to do is just supposed to help you with your wing process. If you're having a hard time, you use a stamp on the right eye or the left eye whatever and then you draw it on with the marker side i feel like these are very convenient and helpful for those people that don't know how to do their wings yet trust me like i make it look easy is what i've heard but i it took practice okay like i wanted to learn how to do a wing and i learned but it took a lot of trial and error sometimes my wings look like cousins distant cousins and not sisters or whatever it's like your brows they're never going to be perfect but as long as you keep trying that's just the thing that's the name of the game with makeup and with anything else in life you keep trying you get better so these products are really convenient for that person or you want to learn how to do your wing these are perfect for you or you just need something quick and fast to get out the door so you just stamp on it's like really fast and quick and yeah i feel like these are really goof proof in that sense the thing that i don't really enjoy is that there's two of them um you could have just done a like one stamp you can use the same stamp on both sides i guess i don't know um but i've seen stamps like this i believe ebon york has one other brands have them too where it's just you stamp it on and you go and it's just one product with this product it's just like it kind of takes away from the conveniency if that's a word um of that because you have two markers but you know we're just going to use it the way that's intended for i met the beauty this actually purchased on amazon so that is the left one this is the stamp side and that is how the marker looks i like my wings facing up so as you can see it leaves the stamp there extend it to my desired length i like my wings to be a little longer and then Take it and go. Okay, so that is the left wing. These are really pretty. I really enjoy using them. I just never reach for them. That's the thing. I forget about them. And, you know, like I already know how to do my wing. And I've really been into my AOA Studio Artista liners because they are colored liners. And I haven't been, I've been straying away from black liners as of lately. But, you know, I'm getting back into it. These are really pretty and I'm really excited that I got to use them again today. For mascara, we're going to take the BR, which is Black Radiance. Full effect mascara. I think I've used this once before or I talked about it in my collection video. Might as well get used out of it. But, you know, the wand is just a little scary. It does provide some volume to the lashes. I feel like... It is scary, but those little bristles do get in between and does help with separating the lashes. For lashes, we're going to use the Ebony New York September Lashes. I never really reach for these because they are rather thick. They have a really thick band and if you know me, I'm not the biggest fan of that type of lash. I'm more into lashes that have a thin band. They're just easier to apply. So I'm going to throw these on and we'll be right back. I'm back wearing the Ebony New York lashes in September. As expected, they were difficult to apply because they're so thick. Like the band is so thick. It's just so hard to apply and they're a little uncomfortable on the eyes. I'm not going to lie. You guys know I love Ebony New York. You guys know what I like, what I don't like from them. So their lashes is one thing that I don't really enjoy. They're just a little uncomfortable. I feel them on the eyes. They're just a little heavy and just it's difficult to apply sometimes. So not the biggest fan of these, but honestly, they look nice. They're just a little uncomfortable on the eyes. So we're going to move on to primer. As you guys know, I did choose two different primers. I chose the A2O UHD primer spray. So we're going to put some of this on. I forget how easy this is. You just throw it on and go. I haven't used it since my Shamase video, which was a while back now. So I'm just gonna let that set. We're gonna go in with the A Plus No Pore Face Primer from the Shamase site. As you guys know, I love Shamase. So I have, this is a product that I don't really reach for. I really like, but I forget about it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the packaging and I like other primers better. I don't know, but I haven't reached for this one in a while. So this is the one we're using today. So I feel like it's setting down now. I'm gonna go ahead and take this primer. 
throw some on the face a really nice primer it makes your face feel so smooth and it smells really good as well foundation we're gonna use the aoa studio pro wear foundation and this one is in the shade honey beige and i haven't used this either since my shamase video so we're gonna use it you guys know this one is orange okay so we're gonna look a little orange until i do my concealer part but that's okay okay fear not friends i'm here in peace i did not escape from the willy wonka factory i am not a stowaway oompa loompa i swear i'm still me okay this foundation <laughs> shade i swear i need to buy another one because this is just so orange on my face i yeah so as you guys know obviously i purchased this a long time ago so i was a little deeper because i was out and about i was in the sun and now we're all trapped indoors so obviously we're getting lighter by the day so yeah i need to purchase another shade one or two shades lighter than this one because it's just a little orange okay um but nonetheless it looks really beautiful i did have to build it up a little bit to get it to, to this capacity i don't know if it was the sponge that was soaking up product or if this is just a little more lightweight than i remember i don't know but it looks really nice we built it up it looks really beautiful on the face before we go on to concealer i'm going to use the la colors contour stick as you guys saw from that other little video that i showed you guys i haven't really used this a whole lot so we're going to use this today i'm just going to draw on some lines so that is the contour stick i'm also going to use the wet and wild hello halo highlight so we're going to use this and this one's in goddess glow it's a beautiful golden tone just going to throw some on the cheekbones it's really pretty really like gives you like a natural kind of glow from within look it's really nice and now we can go on to concealer i'm going to use my la colors color correctors always just trying to use this up just adding more orange why not going in with the aoa studio liquid concealer this one is in buff and that's the one we used earlier just gonna throw some on here learned in my shamase video a while back this is a rather thick and it does blend out nicely and you don't need a lot of it hopefully i didn't over apply today okay, so now that that's on i'm gonna go in with my elf contour kit situation and i'm just gonna take this shade here for the under eyes it's also a palette that i neglect i don't know i just forget about it but elf they do have some really nice powders there we go looks really nice i need to reach for this a little more or i need to purchase a new one because this was my sister's and she gave it to me so i've had it for quite a while um but i just forget about it i think it's the packaging i just i can't see the shade so i forget about it um, but it's really nice, so I have to start reaching for this a little more. Going in with the Smoke and Mirrors Setting Powder. This is really beautiful. I purchased mine at my local 99 cent store. Such a nice, beautiful powder. Perfect for people with oily skin. It's just really nice, but I haven't been reaching for it because I'm trying to use up a different one um, just to get it on my collection, which is the Italia Deluxe Banana Powder. But yeah, but then that leads to me neglecting my other powders that I really enjoy and this is definitely one of them see it's like a white powder i got way too much on the lid so we're gonna have to be very careful very careful okay because i have my soda here and it's open it's a can okay so hopefully the powder doesn't go in there grab your powder <laughs> oh no okay no i breathe i breathed it in common sense is not to breathe when you're putting on powder and I just took a big like air like I was like and I just took in the powder such a beautiful powder I swear I recommend it fully it's so good you can also find this at five below just like mattifies your face it's so nice but it's not like drying it up taking all the moisture away it's just like a perfect balance of it's just nice it's nice so that is the powder it's really beautiful i love how it leaves the face so for contour we're going to use the beauty benefits glow with the flow bronzer and so beautiful this is in deep tan and you can find these at the 99 cent store or at dollar tree i actually did a whole video dedicated to the products they're just really adorable so we're going to use this for contour today i just have to take a really light hand because it is really pigmented 
is such a gorgeous product but yeah i definitely have to take a light hand when using it they do have other colors but those are the shades that stood out to me i'd rather have something pigmented than something that i have to build up and there's no color to it so that's why i chose those shades i also did a i got like a blush that's also really pigmented really gorgeous and vibrant um, if you want to watch that video it's going to be down below but such a gorgeous product for blush we're going to go in with the amuse blush this is in the shade antique and it actually came in a chamisse makeup kit a while back really gorgeous shade and i feel like this goes with any type of look such a beautiful formula and this is also available on the chamisse site which is why it came in that kit and it's just so beautiful i would definitely recommend this and the formulation is so good before we go on to highlight i'm going to use my ulta beauty liner and I'm just going to use the black side. I'm going to tie it line with that. Okay, so I did go a little lower with my liner because I'm going to take the blue and purple shade from the palette and I'm going to go ahead and throw them on the lower lash line. Make it really smoky down here and have a little bit of purple as well just so it can match that liquid lipstick we chose. Okay, so I went ahead and filled in the brows a little more. I'm going to go ahead and take my Remy Rose eyebrow gel just to set them down this is a tinted product which is why i've kind of stepped away from it i've really been into my clear brow gels but i feel like this is really nice and just easy to throw on but i do have to be careful with it okay so we are missing highlights so we're going to go ahead and take the wet and wild and those are the shades we get in here i do kind of want to mix like these two here for the inner corner i'm going to go ahead and take these but for the face i'm going to mix these two and i feel like by mixing it with that pink it's definitely going to match more with that liquid lipstick we're going to throw on right now such a gorgeous palette i never ever reach for it i don't know why i don't know if it's a packaging i kind of forget about it but honestly so beautiful and these are available at burlington as of now i did see it the other day and i posted it on my instagram so if you're interested in it it's so good now we're going to use the romantic beauty liquid lipstick this is in the shade six so this is the one we're using today wow i forgot how light it is okay <laughs> I may have underestimated this product in my mind i thought it was going to be a little deeper i don't know why huh okay i don't know how i feel about this we're gonna go ahead and take the second love cosmetics lip gloss in eclipse and we're just gonna throw it on over that it does have like a shift of like a copper and pink and it has like a bunch of nice reflex in the product this is a nice gloss wow it definitely transformed it it looks really cool now would i have chosen out this lip combo if i would have known how it looks in the end and would have chosen the palette before no but i feel like this is really fun why not stepping out of the comfort zone that's what this whole video was about so i'm glad that we did this video because i would never have put these two together and they look so gorgeous and the gloss oh my goodness if you haven't tried second look cosmetics i'll have their website down below and i believe i have a discount code i don't know if it still works or not it's so good so so gorgeous and beautiful oh my gosh like i'm so excited about this because I'm definitely going to reach for this gloss a lot more. And this is a really beautiful color, just not with this eye look. Lastly, we're going to take the Beauty Treats Cucumber Setting Spray. It's like a facial spray. And we're going to end it. Finally, we're at the end. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. And it feels so good on the face. This is the final look. Now, did I expect it to come out as good as it did? I honestly didn't. These shades all don't really go together. For me, I like really monochromatic kind of looks. If I do purple on the, on the eyes, I like to have like a purple lip, kind of like that, just to make it matchy-matchy. But honestly, this is not terrible. Everything worked out really well. There's nothing that I hated. The lashes, although they're a little uncomfortable, they're really beautiful on the eyes. The palette was nice, not my most favorite eyeshadow palette ever. The brows look really good. The liner, honestly, is probably my favorite part of the entire thing. The lip combination, honestly, looks really beautiful. Definitely has to do with that gloss because that gloss is gorgeous. Definitely, I'm going to reach for it a lot more now that I 
rediscovered it it's so beautiful definitely recommend and it doesn't feel like it's not sticky or anything it looks gorgeous now this shade is making my teeth look a little yellow but you know that's what happens when you drink a lot of soda anyway it, it's just it looks really beautiful everything we use honestly blew everything out of the water i look a little orange but you know we already knew that because the foundation doesn't really match my skin tone that well but honestly everything worked out really well and we've been focusing a lot on new products these couple months that it would be nice just to step back go into my makeup collection choose makeup that i kind of forgot about that i haven't reached for items that i think i don't like but i just kind of just don't like it because of packaging or whatever it may be but honestly everything worked out really well and i have a really nice group of products that i had forgotten about that were the underdog in my collection but now that i've rediscovered them i'm going to be using them a lot more in more videos to come so i suggest you guys do the same thing i recommend you guys go into your makeup collection you know we fall into this pattern of just purchasing 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 adding new items blah 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 but it's nice just to step back use some products they used to like or whatever and shop your stash because it's a lot of fun and you you'll be surprised of the items that you'll discover items that you forgot about that you will now love so it's just a lot of fun i definitely suggest you guys try it and honestly it just it looks nice and i had a lot of fun with you guys today and we made it to the end i hope you enjoyed watching as much as i enjoyed filming this for you today everything that i talked about other names of the prices are going to be down below as well as any videos that i mentioned throughout this video or videos that i uploaded last week don't forget I upload three times a week on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So if you could stick around, that would be amazing. I have my Insta handle displayed on the screen. I post a little makeup finds from drugstore.hangend. So if that interests you, go ahead and follow me there. And it'd be so amazing if you could like and subscribe. Of course, you don't have to. You're your own person and you make your own decisions. But it wouldn't hurt to give this video a like. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.